up everyone, Kay here from MB Tennis. Hope you guys are having a great day wherever you're tuning in from. Our previous video, we talked about the five most seen rackets I see on the college tour, which includes the NCAA and all the tournaments we go to, dual matches, etc. And we're gonna continue with that theme today, but only instead of rackets, we are going to talk about shoes. So what are the most common shoes that us college tennis players wear and why we wear them and maybe why you might want to consider switching to some of these shoes I'm about to talk about. That us college tennis players wear and why we wear them and maybe why you might want to consider switching to some of these shoes I'm about to talk about. But before we get into the video, there is one thing I'd like to address about the Match Point Tennis MP Tennis community, and that is I'm getting a lot of requests uh, to make videos about comparing rackets. And I would absolutely love to do these videos, but unfortunately I do not have these rackets at hand, or you know, I can't go get them at a local shop because where I live there isn't really much access to demos, so I have to get them online and it costs me money. So I'm happy to do these reviews and comparison videos of rackets because it seems like you guys are really loving when I talk about rackets. But if you would like to do that, we're going to introduce something called Buy Me A Coffee, which is something that a lot of other YouTube channels use. And this will help me be able to get rackets from the demo program to help you guys because I'm a college student. I don't really have a lot of money to, you know, go out and buy demos and buy rackets for the channel yet. But if you guys are willing to, you know, pay a little bit out of your own pocket and uh, to the buy me a coffee, I will be able to get those rackets and be able to do comparison videos and, and reviews and all of that stuff. And one thing about the place that I do get the demos from is I can get up to two rackets. So if you guys just want one racket, I can also get another one and I can get a review out of that as well. So I just wanted to let you guys know, uh, we're gonna set up to buy me a coffee and make sure you put your name, uh, what racket you want, and maybe some other details as well. So that is that, I just wanted to let you guys know, and I'm happy to continue to do racket reviews and all that stuff, but buy me a coffee would help out a lot. But let's get into the video now. So, like I did with the previous video, I started out with my team in the shoes that they have worn over the past year. So, let's talk about my team and the shoes they wear. We're gonna go down the line again, starting with Jonathan, our number one, was he was wearing GP turbos for most of the year. Tommy, our number two, was wearing vapor cages. Manny, our number three, was wearing gel resolutions. Our number four, Fernando, was wearing Vapor Pros. Our number five was wearing Babolat Jet, Jet Mach 3. I think that's how you call them. Me, our number six this past year, I was a little bit all over the map, but I ended up finishing the year with the Vapor Pro, but had used the Ubersonic 4s and Barricades throughout the year. Number seven, uh, Zach had used the Vapor Pro and Vapor Cages throughout the year. Jeremy used the Vapor Lights and Noah used the Jet Mach 3s as well like Boris did. So those are, that's our full team. There's a lot of similarity in there. There's a lot of Vapor Pros, a few Vapor Cages and uh, as well as some of the Babolat shoes which is quite interesting. But let's go down the line and start off with some honorable mentions that I have seen across the college chest torn shoes. So this isn't even necessarily a six, seven, eight spot position for the shoes, but it's just two shoes that I've seen a lot more of compared to you know my junior days. So kind of props to these two uh, brands. And that would be Babolat Jet Mach 3s. I've started to see a lot more of those shoes. And as well as the Mizuno Wave it's Exceed 5s. Now I've never worn Babolat or Mizuno shoes, but I'm seeing a lot of them. So that's interesting to see, but let's go down the list now, starting with the fifth most shoe I have seen. And that is the Uber Sonic 4 from Adidas. And I even have that to show you guys today. So I have worn this shoe 
a lot and I've even done like a comparison video on the Soul Cork Boost, uh, Ubersonic Boars and Barricades and kind of talked about them and what I thought about all three of them. But this, that is a great shoe for college tennis. A lot of college tennis players like to feel low to the ground, they're explosive out of the corners and the Ubersonic shoe is really great for that because it's a lightweight shoe as well and it comes in at a reasonable price uh, for a performance shoe. So I think that's why a lot of people lean towards this shoe and it comes in a clay court and a hard court variant so you can't really go wrong with it um, and Adidas does make great tennis shoes. So a lot of people end up going with the Adidas Ubersonic Four. And I even see people, uh, they didn't make the list because they're discontinued now, but people are wearing the threes and the twos still, which is interesting. I don't know where they're getting those, but a lot of Ubersonics I see on the college tour. The number four shoe, I sadly don't have it with me because I threw them out because they had holes in them, but that is the Adidas Barricade 2020, the newest Adidas Barricade. I think they call it 2021 or 2022. That shoe is worn by a lot of college tennis players because of the durability and also the secureness around the ankle. And it's overall a great shoe. Uh, just look at what you're getting uh, from the shoe. It's really, really solid performance. Once again, another performance shoe. All these shoes that I'm gonna go down the line with are performance shoes. I really enjoyed them when I wore them. They were great for hard court sliding, I think, as well. Uh, the only thing I had trouble with is they gave me really bad blisters in the back of my heels. So if it wasn't for that, I'd still probably be wearing those shoes, but that's why I had to step away from the Adidas Barricade because said I had used the Pros, Nike Baber Pros, Ubersonic Fours, and the Barricades. But I do see a lot of Barricades just because of that legendary status to the Barricades. A lot of people are diehard Barricade fans and have been wearing them for years. So people stick with those. So that is the number four shoe. Very similar to the Barricade, you have a lot of diehard Barricade fans. Our number three shoe is the Asics Gel Res 8. So a lot of guys are wearing these shoes. I think it partially becomes because they've been wearing Asics all their life and they just love Asics tennis shoes and it just keeps getting updated to A6 Gel 6, Gel 7, Gel 8, etc, etc. So they find themselves using this one a lot. It has a, a great durability. I, I wore these briefly in my junior career. They gave me some foot problems, but a lot of people still love them. A lot of hard, good hardcore sliders use these shoes. They're reasonably priced, I believe, and they also um, are pretty lightweight and, and are a good package all around. So I can definitely understand why a lot of people are using the Gel Res 8s. Now we're getting down to the nitty gritty. We're down to the Vapor Cage 4, which is coming in at our number two spot. Now, I was a little bit surprised at how much I saw this shoe because the Cage 3 and the Cage 2s, I did not see a lot of uh, you know, in my junior days, but all of a sudden with this cage four, it seems like they are becoming more popular. And I don't know if that's because, you know, Rafa endorses them. He doesn't actually wear those shoes, but who knows? I think a lot of people love the, the combination and hybrid between the Vapor Pro and say like a GP Turbo because they have that air unit underfoot, which makes it very cushiony. So a lot of people like that, but they're all snow. Uh, you know, not that heavy and they're pretty good for durability as well. I think they have that six month durability sole thing. So a lot of people end up wearing those, getting them from Nike and shipping them back. So I've seen a lot of those, which is very interesting to see a shoe that didn't do great from the past in my opinion. And then all of a sudden uh, their newest edition is doing very well. So that is the number two shoe. All right guys, so we have made it to the number one shoe and you wouldn't believe it. I've seen so many players wearing this shoe. It's got some great comfort, great durability and really amazing for your ankles. And that is the Adidas sandals. Now, uh, the number one shoe is the Nike Vapor Pro. Now. 
this shoe blows all the other shoes out of the water. I think I have seen this shoe everywhere. Every player, like if I go to any team that we've played, there's at least like three or four guys wearing this shoe, Nike Vapor Pro, on their team. And you know what? I can't seem to pinpoint it down why. Obviously, there's a lot of people that are loyal to Nike. They love the low to ground feel. Um, a lot of guys wear this on tour as well. So some people, some people just buy tennis shoes too because they see some players uh, they like and you know they're like, I like that player. I'm gonna buy that shoe. I don't do that, but a lot of people do. Um, these come in at a really good price right now, and I think that could be. Uh, a big factor. They come in at $120 American, which is very, very good considering they used to be like 140, 160 ish with the Vapor X's. So I don't know how they became cheaper, especially with inflation and all that stuff. But it's interesting because these are everywhere. And, you know, even though they are a low to the ground shoe, the durability is okay. But a lot of college tennis players uh, get deals through the school or they have you know sponsorship or whatever or whatever so they're able to get these shoes for cheaper and get them fast so they wear through them fast but it doesn't matter but this shoe is awesome it's my current shoe of choice and I love it so no complaints that is the top five so we finished off with the Nike Vapor Pro coming in at the number one spot. I'm interested to see what you guys think of the top five shoes. Are you guys seeing similar uh, shoes out there? I know this is what college tennis players are wearing, so it might not be the same as, you know, your average, you know, 50 year old 4.0 player. I'm sure they're not wearing similar shoes. They might have something else. But let me know what you guys think. What are you guys seeing? Don't forget to like and subscribe. And of course, don't forget about buy me a coffee. If you guys wanna see some special videos or requests, whatever that might be, let me know. And the link will be in the description for that. Have a good day guys, and we'll talk to you guys on the next video.